today I wanted to go over something for WordPress. Um, I have a contact form that I like to use, but if you don't use a CAPTCHA or something like that to filter out the bot spam, you'll start getting all kinds of emails for um, just randomness and uh, it's also annoying to get all of those messages coming through. So what I was wanting to show you was um, this CAPTCHA is um, one that I like, really simple CAPTCHA. Uh, the reason I'm making the video though is because his instructions are not super clear on exactly where the code does. For example, um, in, in your somewhere in here it just says uh, simply create an instance of uh, XYZ whatever it was uh, or it shows you the code and it doesn't really show you where to put that so that's all I really wanted to do was uh, if you're not a computer geek and you don't know where this code goes you might want to uh, keep watching so in, in WordPress I'm going to pull mine over here. So I have uh, a contact form that I've, I've loaded. Here's the actual page. And you can directly download this from WordPress, but if you want to go read the details, um, I use Contact Form 7, and it works pretty well as long as you use some sort of CAPTCHA with it. I got pretty good ratings, 86 uh, and 14 for the 5 and 4 star range. A few people don't like it. Uh, you might read those to make sure it's good for you. Uh, there's stuff up here you can read, but here's what I'm talking about that's not super clear. It says first create an instance of really simple CAPTCHA class, and here's some code, and, and then it's got variables, and, and it kind of goes into detail, but um, if you're not a computer person, you're probably lost right here. Uh, create an instance of a class. What, what does that mean? Uh, and then, then this other stuff also might be gibberish to you as well. So back to this. This, if you use the same form I do, you're, you're, when you go in to edit the contact form, uh, you can drop code in here and this is all you have to do to get this CAPTCHA working. So your code will be, by default, will probably be this, at least that's what mine was, and this piece down here. The code you need to add is right after your message. So the label, your message, and then I just dropped, I, if you don't put this, um, a P in, in the uh, greater than less than and if you don't put something here your website will just show up with just the CAPTCHA and most people know what to do with that but I went ahead and put in there you must answer the CAPTCHA so that it's you know even the simplest of web form users would know oh I have to fill that in but it has to it doesn't really say on his website but it, you really need to put it right here after your message and then you put that in there and submit and don't forget to save it you're gonna have to come in here and save it um, and then what it'll look like when you're done after you save it is this so it'll have uh, you put your name email subject your message and if I tr if I don't answer this um, I just make up some gibberish here Now if I don't do the CAPTCHA, they'll get this. And this is what we want, so when the bots are trying to fill this out, uh, that's, that's what they'll get. And then if I actually fill it out, uh, SQ27, bam, it goes through. So really that's it. I just wanted to show that because it took me, if even me, I'm a computer person, it still took me a few minutes to figure out exactly how do you plug this thing in and make it work so hopefully that was helpful to you and um, it, you, 
there's other videos out there too. I just wanted to make one for 2022 with the, the latest plugin and the latest code. And uh, I got that code actually, by the way, from, from this page here. Uh, so he shows you the demo, the code I gave you, I just copied and pasted this. So that gives you this one. If you like this one or this one, it's the next two codes. So those go exactly where I showed you. You would just replace, that's the code I showed you. If you want this second or third one, copy and paste either this code to get this one or this code to get this one and put it in the exact same place. And then, um, and that'll be it. So, and, and again, don't forget to save it and then test, give it a test and it should cut down on the number of bot spam that you get. So hope that helps uh, if you thought that was helpful and um, useful. Please at least like it. Uh, subscribe would be nice. But um, anyway, hopefully the, that helped you.